I got a deck of cards here. Okay. Another convenience, and I'm gonna open it up sideways, no less, <laughs> and take out the deck. Uh, so a deck of cards, and I'm also gonna use this right here. Uh, I have 52 cards, you're gonna select one of them. Okay, Make it a good one. choice. Okay, perfect. That's a good one. Show it off to the camera. Don't show me, I don't wanna see it. Okay. Good? Excellent. And it goes back into the middle. Is this fair? That looks pretty fair. Is this fair? Looks extremely fair. Is that fair? I, I didn't do it. Yeah, I okay. didn't do it. Okay. Here, hold out your hand. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to ask you to put your other hand on top of it. Okay. Good. Now, I'm going to use the lighter to burn down the studio. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm only kidding. Not when there's people here. Okay. <laughs> Later. Uh, no, I'm going to use the lighter to actually burn one card. One card from here. Actually, hold your hand just about here. Watch the lighter. Watch the burn. Go into, through your hand, through the deck, lift up. One card should have burnt. Watch. One card and one card only. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, do you remember your card, Eric? Jack of Diamond. Hopefully. The hearts. Jack of Hearts. Yeah. Hearts. It's all right. It's fine. <laughs> Eric's good. He said I'm from Russia. I'm from Romania. No worries. They, they all look the same to me. Uh, can right. you cup your hands? I'm not done. I'm going to use the Jack to pop out from the burn mark the lighter. See, now from the burn mark comes the lighter. And now there is no more burn mark on the Jack. We fixed it. Congratulations. Yes. You can check that out. You can keep the lighter. Awesome. So now you're going to be the arson. And that's arson. G'day, champion. How are you? Welcome back to Murphy's Magic Saturday Sorcery. Hope you're having an absolutely splendid Saturday doing whatever you're doing. Now, you've just seen the one and only Alex Pandrea perform an awesome effect, a beautiful effect even, called arson. Now, you're not going to learn arson today. That's from his At The Table lecture, which you're about to see another effect from. And you're going to learn that effect. But if you want to see more on arson, make sure you check out the rest of this at the table lecture. Now, before we learn today's effect, I do want to tell you about this week's giveaway. If you want to learn the card slot, card move monkey bundle, I'll think of a shorter name for it. If you want to learn that bundle, make sure you stick around to later on in the episode and I'll show you how to enter that giveaway. Now onto this episode's effect, you're going to learn an effect called the mystery card. So Alex is going to show you a performance and then get into the explanation. So without any further ado, Alex, my friend, over to you. Been playing with and toying with a few things and I, I really dig your method. I wonder if you wouldn't mind showing the guys and the guys here at home. I would mind. Your handling. I would. Oh, you would? Really? Thank yeah. you. Can we please it. move on? But we can if it's we have It's a mystery. To. That's why it's, it's called a mystery <laughs> card. <laughs> <laughs> I would be happy to, Eric. Excellent. Because I love you. Aww. And you love me. Uh, I Aww. have a uh, Sharpie. Do we have a Sharpie? That's cool. It's good we came prepared, guys. <laughs> I have a Sharpie and a mystery card. That's the mystery card. That's the Sharpie. The mystery card is yellow. I know that's a spooky color. And uh, this deck is red. Okay, uh, now what I'm gonna do is just place the mystery card away from us in just a second. It's gonna go in my back pocket. Now go ahead, grab the Sharpie, Eric, and we're gonna use it. You're going to actually touch a card, so any which one that you want, go ahead and touch it. That one. That one? Yeah. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, uh, uncap the Sharpie, okay? And we're gonna sign the nine of hearts. So nine of hearts, just go ahead and sign that right there. All right. Nice. Great. Uh, so nine of hearts will stay right there in the center of the pack, uh, sticking out. Now yeah. I actually got a card in my back pocket and that's the mystery card, correct? Yeah. We're gonna use the mystery card to help find the card. Now go ahead, push it in so I don't know where it is. Perfect. Here's the move. Mystery card goes into the pack, hopefully above or below your card. Above or below your card, I think, watch. Above, is it the 10? No, it wasn't No, because you signed it, right? Yeah. Is it the Joker? No. You signed Eric on it, right? I did. I'll do one better. Watch. If I just snap, the mystery card now becomes your card. Have you seen last week's free tutorial yet? Make sure you do card on screen right now or the link is in the description. Make sure you check it out. It's an absolute feast for the eyes and it's completely free. Go treat yourself. Now, I'm so sorry, Alex. I need to interrupt for just a second for the mid-episode giveaway. 
because I want to find out who won last episode's bundle. So drum roll, please. Congratulations, my friend. You're the winner of last episode's bundle. So if you could DM me on any of Murphy's socials, I'll get that prize out to you quicker. And you can say, hey, Bo, I've liked the video because I know it'll bring a big smile to your beautiful face. You absolute charm of you. And I know it'll help out the video way more than I could ever imagine. You're just getting better each second. Thank you so much. Now onto this week's giveaway. If you want a chance to win the card slight bundle, I told you I'll think of a smaller name. If you want to enter that competition, all you need to do is comment below what card you would have as your mystery card. Is it the four of clubs, three of hearts, jack of spades? What is it? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll choose someone out at random. You'll be announced in the next episode. So good luck. All right, champion, ready to check out more videos just like this one? Make sure you check out our YouTube channel where we drop new videos every single day. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe because why not save yourself coming back later? Well, what I love about this effect, uh, your version of uh, the mystery card plot, is the fact that the, the card is isolated uh, throughout the entire performance all the way to the end. Uh, and under the pseudo guise of finding your card with the mystery card, it actually becomes the spectator's signed selection. Uh, would you mind running us through the handling? Uh, sure. Uh, you need one odd card. Uh, and in this case, it's a good contrast, the yellow with the red. Um, and the first thing, before we get into that, I want to talk about the move that you're going to use for this. Okay. It's called T.O.P., uh, and it's a version of a turnover pass. So it looks like this. If we could get a, a um, from above. From above. Uh, we have the seven of diamonds, and we'll leave the seven of diamonds uh, sticking out in the pack, just like that. You can see that, and then you push it in, and the card is on top. That's beautiful. Um, so that one is called T.O.P. for turnover pass but with an out jog. This is what's happening. You have the card out jogged and these two hands separated. This is more of a biddle grip and this is in just regular uh, holding him. Now you're going to separate the cards as you push this card forward and you say, there's the 10 of hearts. You're gonna come back, grab the 10 in this hand, just like that. And now you're gonna do a turnover pass. So now this one kicks, this one kicks. So now you're reversing the packets just in a turnover pass action. But at the same time, your thumb is kicking that top card on in your left hand with your left thumb, it's kicking it out as you complete the cut. All right, so here it is again. There's a card, queen of hearts. You're gonna come here, grab it. Now you're gonna do the pass on a diagonal and my left thumb kicks out the left card. So it should just look like the card is turning over and you're controlling it to the top. So three of diamonds, let me turn that over, push it in. And there it is, three diamonds on top, 10 of diamonds, leave that in the center, push it in, and now it's on top. That's very, very deceptive. I dig that a lot. So, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, so the thing that I realized about this is that you can do it on top, on the bottom, but if the card starts off at the bottom of the pack, now when you do it, they don't see the bottom of the card. Oh, that's So smart. now you could add this little plot in, and I came up with this trick that way. So this goes on, uh, you show the card first, and you're gonna need to get it on the bottom to force that card. It's also a force also. Um, take the card, you're gonna place it in your back pocket, and what I do is I go to my back pocket, I'm gonna make pretend to put it in, but I place it back in palm. So you have it in a position. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, so now I hand the Sharpie to the spectator, and as I do that, this hand just comes here, it's in palm, and I just place it on the bottom of the pack, just like that. So and now you're on. ready. Now it's on the bottom of the pack, ready to be forced. Um, I'm gonna spread to the, through the cards, and they're gonna touch one, and I'm gonna out jog it, so say they touch this one. Now you're gonna do the move, and you're gonna push in this card and force the bottom card for them to sign. I'm gonna pick this up, and you say this one, I'm gonna do the move, and now this is their, uh, the mystery card, right? Because they didn't see the back, but they just saw the back because it was out jogged with a red back. Makes sense. Uh, so I'm gonna ask them to sign it, or you could literally uh, spread it open like this. They do their uh, best at signing the card. I saw you, do your, you, you did your best here. I did my best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now you're gonna do a different version of it. So instead of taking it to the top, so it's on top, because then the, the yellow would be exposed, you're just gonna push it flush do the move and kick out another card, that card. So now it's on the bottom. Now you're in the perfect position to steal that card back out as you cop it. 
So from here, you're doing the move, it goes to the bottom of the pack, so you're kicking it flush, doing the move, and now copying it right away. So there it is, you're stealing that off as you place the card back and you say, remember that mystery card? Now you're gonna go to your back pocket and pull this out just like that, right? So the mystery card gets placed into the deck and then back out without them knowing. And for that reason is for them to sign it, right? To force it and to sign it. But they think that it's been in the pocket the whole time. You place this away. This gets pushed in. Uh, and now you could do a whole bunch of things. You could either take the spectator and have them push them in where they think it is, or another spectator, or this is the thing that I like to do. It's a, this is a Dan and Dave flick move. I uh, forgot exactly, it might be called flick, but I do it into the deck okay. like that. So I just uh, split it open. Uh, and Garcia's mystery card, he kind of tosses it in like that, which is right. also cool. So there's a bunch of different ways to do it, but I like that way. And now I have it sticking out and spread the cards. And I say, hopefully above or below your card is, your, uh, is the card. So I'll spread it like this, and we look at the top, obviously not it. We look at the bottom, no, you do one better. Turn over the card and show that the mystery card is now the signed one, and you give that out to them, and then you take it back because you need it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that is the mystery card, and, and really quickly for the force, if you want to force the bottom card with that move, uh, it's the same exact thing. They do this, you do this, and now you kick it out. And now you, that could be a, used as a force, just without the... I wonder, the, can it also be used as a color change? What did you call me? A color change? Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I guess we'll have, uh, we'll let them play around with it and see what yeah, they come up with. Yeah, that sounds like it could be a really cool thing. Mm -hmm. But awesome. Well guys, that was the mystery, mystery card. card. Now, thank you so much, Alex, you absolute beautiful man. If you want to see more of Alex's work, link in the description below right now to his socials. Make sure you go check him out and give him a follow. Plus, there's also a link below to all of his releases. He has so much incredible magic. Make sure you go check it all out. Now, if you liked what you saw here, plus also Arson, and also let's check out another Move Monkey effect. We're just going to see the performance of it. We're not going to learn how it's done, but this is one of the other Move Monkey effects that you're going to learn from this at the table lecture. Uh, if anybody just wants to call out stop, at the break, oh, <laughs> that's gonna be the card. Everybody has it. Now let's get a little fancy. If I take the cards and I just spring like that, that does, uh, you know what that's called? Showing off. <laughs> uh, uh, but it also controls the cards to the top. And that's not the funny part. What's the funny part? Mm, there's no funny part. It's a really <laughs> nice control. Why should it be funny? <laughs> that one is called the spring control. How good does that look? And that's not the only thing you're going to learn from this at the table lecture. This at the table lecture kicks off with Alex's signature sugar packet trick, then into arson. Then you're going to learn his journey through magic into the effect and performance and explanation of Johnny Travels. Then you're going to get into some audience questions, Illuminates. Then Alex talks about his creative process. Then you're going to learn mystery card, which you just learned. Then some more audience questions, the two card reset, the spring control, the DPS, the palm to palm transfer, the second deal control, two card transpo, more audience questions, a bill switch, ambitious card, and then following everything up with the outro. So you're going to learn a lot of awesome magic and also some really cool move monkey style controls and switches. So if you wanna see more on Alex's at the table lecture, I highly recommend you do. It is incredible. Make sure you do, link in the description below right now where you can pick it up for $9.95. It's an absolute bargain when you think about it. You're learning like 10 to 12 effects in this one lecture and also Alex's knowledge on things, incredible. Make sure you check it out for $9.95. Now, my friend, I know you're super busy, so I will let you get back to your Saturday. Have a great day doing whatever you're doing. I'll see you on our Discord for our weekly jams, trivia, games, hangouts, and even more on our next Tuesday for a special episode of Top 5, and then on Wednesday for another What's New This Week. Now, take care, my friend. See you later. Bye for now. Whoa, hey, whoa, what's that? Oh, you should definitely check out that. Oh, there's so much good magic in there. You won't regret it. Hey, whoa, hey, look at this bad boy. You should definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, then watch that. Oh, it's a good day to treat yourself.